Abba Father. I, I'm here with my young dad and uh, here at his apartment and I just wanted to ask him to share his uh, experience and uh, his wisdom on Father God, on Abba Father. So this is Richard Wilding here. <laughs> so, Dad, what do you, uh, from your years of being a believer and uh, years of prayer and uh, intimacy, what have you discovered in your journey with, with Father God? Well, the big thing is his mercy and his compassion. One of my favorite uh, count stories in the Bible is Jesus' parable of the prodigal father, the father who loved his son so much, the son who ran away and spent all his inheritance and ended up fighting with the pigs for fodder. And then he came home and his father, rather than condemning him, embraced him and was jubilant because he arrived home. And it just witnessed to me that God is a gracious, loving, compassionate, and forgiving God. And the one we can always turn to when we're in distress, in need of help, and in need of comfort. And uh, so many people tend to feel that God is a God of vengeance, uh, fear, and that the Father is... Uh, some people even tend to think that Jesus Christ is loving, kind, and compassionate, which, of course, Christ is. But on the other hand, the Father is something totally different. They identify the Father with the Old Testament, which they think is a gospel of law and a gospel of killing and a gospel of vengeance, whereas Christ is a God of the new, loving and compassionate and merciful. But truly the Father is always loving, kind and compassionate, and people totally misrepresent him. And because of that, can't have a relationship with him. I was fortunate to be blessed with having a good relationship with my own father, which I think has impacted me greatly. We shouldn't just make a human the basis of uh, our relationship with God the Father, but it certainly helps. And my father was a sergeant major in the army, tough guy, with a booming voice. That could be heard all over the parade ground, but when he came home, he was soft-spoken, kind, compassionate, and we got along really well. And so, uh, of course, God is far greater than we can even believe, almost far greater than any physical father, but is one we can always turn to and uh, come to the Father through Christ and he's always there for us and doesn't reject us but is a god that believes in us as well he believes in our potential he believes that uh, he, he will really help us when we turn to him and so it's very important to as many people as we do turn to christ believe in christ embrace christ and have christ in us uh, but on the other hand, to have a deep relationship with the Father as well. And not just, uh, not just with Christ. Christ is, of course, vitally important, but uh, cultivate a deep relationship with God our Father. There's another tremendous dimension of the Godhead that... Uh, to have a healthy relationship with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is crucial, all three of them, and something that we should deeply treasure. Amen. Thank you, uh, Richard Wilding, my beloved dad. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Love you, son. <laughs> <laughs> we just bless you wherever you are in the name of Abba, Father, Jesus, Son, and Holy Ghost. And uh, 
just cultivate that relationship with your daddy, Abba, and with his son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit.